Hello. Hi. <laughs> you Looks like. Hmm? Go on. Hmm? Are you? How are you? I. I've been up. Well, I mean, you probably got up before I did. I'm guessing. Maybe I got up before you this morning. But I am just honestly just trying to stay awake. I can. I can tell. That's kind of when I I saw you. I was like, oh, I think we're both in the same kind of boat, but for different reasons. I think we are absolutely. Yeah. So yeah. you know, like um, like um, people might sync sync up with their menstrual cycles. We kind of sync up with our our moods and just what's going on in our lives. Typically, it has to do with emotions and moods, actually, which is interesting. Always mental and I'm health not even, related. Totally, and I'm actually. I know it sounds kind of like it could have been a goofy or funny thing to say, but I'm actually <laughs> serious. It's nope. true. It's true, people. <laughs> no, I know. And we are as Canada as it gets with getting juicy. We show up, we're here, you know, and that's it. And that's what makes the show the way it is, folks. Yeah. Welcome to getting juicy. Was that a ju do 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 or a do 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 do? Oh, no, I did do 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 like the classic like Warner Brothers or isn't it the Warner Brothers or oh, the do, 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 do. yeah oh my that god one? yeah I I'm really bad at actually emulating it exactly but I know what you're talking about um yeah. anyway before we get off on some crazy bizarre you know tangents that have nothing to do with what we're going to be talking about with our guests <laughs> Well, I <laughs> mean, kidding. we're trying we're... to make each other laugh. So there is some I kind know. of some kind of thread with that. And I'm sorry if I keep like swallowing. I'm 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 uh, I've got a throat lozenge in my mouth. So just FYI, people, I'm sorry. There's like a click, 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 clackety click on my teeth, trying mm. not to do that. Maybe I should grab a tongue depressor for myself. Yeah, what see again? I don't what why does this go over my head sometimes with some of the things Hero says? What is that? Why? Well, just adding on to like the whole like you know, take care thing? of your throat, take care of your mouth. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Sure. I yeah. thought you were going to talk, talk about something that would be annoying to hear, <laughs> you know, like maybe I'll just get a, a stick of gum and I'll start smacking my lips around. Oh yeah. Like a good right? old lip smacker from the nineties. Lip smacker. Does that still exist? I'm sure okay. there's some iteration. Anyways, we're getting wow. off track. Okay. We are. See? So off see? Track. see? Oh gosh. This is what you get people when Rachel and this, I are a little bit fatigued. This is what you get. <laughs> but, um, uh speaking of like funny banter and connections and a duo um our guest is 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 on his own <laughs> this evening but he is part of a, a pretty amazing i think 20 year old relationship duo with his partner jer so we have the the great darcy michael on the show yay um super stoked about meeting darcy uh darcy is canadian he uh, is a comedian. He's an actor. More recently became like a freaking, and this is what I'm saying with his partner, um, with Jer, uh, became a Twitter, not Twitter. <laughs> TikTok. TikTok. Hello. How old I, am I? Um, a TikTok sensation recently. It was like since, what, like within a year, they have like 3 million followers. Is it 3 million now? 3 Holy million. Shit. Yeah. I just wow. looked. Wow. Yeah. Wow. yeah. Starting... Yeah, just over COVID, and because yeah. his partner Jer really started to film him, and it just actually took off unintentionally. It wasn't intentional. Oh, it was it's it's freaking hilarious. I mean, oh, they're I oh my gosh, yeah, no, they're amazing. Actually, one more recent one was a uh, uh, Darcy was going to surprise Jer with a uh, I don't did you, I don't know if you saw this, but um, they needed a painting or some picture or something on the on the wall. There's a big huge blank wall as you walk into their their place on the left-hand side, I think before you go upstairs, like I know mm. their house. <laughs> um, and so Jer comes with his, you know, he's filming, he comes down the stairs and he's like, and then Darcy's like almost running out the door because he was going to surprise him with this thing that he put up there. And it, you know what he put up there? A gigantic photo of his face, like huge, <laughs> huge. I love it. And then the, one of the it. comments is like, this thing was fucking expensive. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, hey, good, a good big head can cost a lot of money. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. It can. It can. It can. It can. Oh, get your mind out truth, of the gutter. Truth. Come on. Get your mind out of the gully. Uh, could be um, like a Buddha head. It could be a head of of cauliflower. Don't don't put which can those cost a lot this. of money. Oh jeez. Okay. Back to Darcy. So, <laughs> is there something you would like to add? I know I did. That was a very quick um. Yeah. No, intro as to who Darcy is. Um. Yeah. No, that's a great, 
great segue. Um, Darcy is from, I believe he's from the, the lower mainland. I know he lives in Ladner, BC, which is on the mm-hmm. way towards the ferry terminals that take you to Vancouver Island uh, towards Wasson. Uh, I also know that he is a stand-up comedian. He's also a podcaster as well. Mm. Um, so I'll let him kind of dive into that a little bit. And mm-hmm. it's kind of fun to have another fellow podcaster, public speaker, um, stand up comedian, because I always find that the banter and the candid conversations are, they flow just as well as those that might not have the same profession or background. I find there's a different level of snapback for lack of better terms just I think based on the timing that comes with being in comedy or being in media entertainment that sometimes you just have a certain kind of uh snip and snapper (laughs) sure snip and snapper that comes with that you need some sleep great (laughs) yeah Yeah, I don't know know. I just pinched my face like this (laughs) that was creepy um and also was something else oh yeah they they went on a a 30-day trip this past summer, I think, and I have a YouTube channel. Um, oh, okay. As well, and um, kind of like you know, two two gays in a in a Ram pickup truck down this to the state. So I'm not really sure how that all went. I didn't get to watch all the episodes, but pretty two funny. Two gays and uh, two gays in a Ram. In a Ram. <laughs> <laughs> um. So <laughs> this is going really well. <laughs> this is going really really well. <laughs> yeah very yeah. well yeah love it so yeah so I'm, and I, I was like when he pops on I was gonna say to you here how did you manage to get him how did we get him on the show <laughs> so Darcy I uh found out through a another uh Vancouver or a BC uh local uh comedian by the name of Deborah De Giovanni. and yes. I noticed I noticed, I believe that's how I discovered him. I think she tagged him in a story and okay. was just honoring or celebrating him. And somewhere along the way, I tapped on the tag and I saw his profile and realized he was from here and had a great uh, connection to the queer community and definitely has a lot of local um, praise mm-hmm. and culture. And mm-hmm. I thought it would be cool to have, again, someone from Canada, let alone Vancouver within our backyards and uh, someone who's also from the queer community, but also someone that is in media and entertainment and uh, how Mm -hmm. they've expanded into what they're doing now through the age of social media and balancing their lifestyle through um, career because that's definitely can be a challenge. And I think we've had some guests on here like Jimbo and Brady and some other folks who are teams, you know, like mm-hmm. one might be a performer or have a a life in the spotlight and the other may have something similar, but they also are their, their assistant, even if it's mm-hmm. not like, like that, but they are their assistant because they're also their partner. So they travel together or there's ways of understanding how they show up for each other. And I think that's really special and really cool. So like the oh, kind yeah. of connect with another, let alone local queer individual in uh, media entertainment, I think that's really neat and different from uh, film and entertainment and reality TV show productions as well. Yeah, but yet there's still a background that he has with that. Um, mm-hmm. But boy, stand up com- like if there's the if there's a difficult job to do in inter- the entertainment industry, stand up comedy I think is number one. I think. Yeah. I mean, who well, knows? It's, it's, I, you have no nothing to it, fall back on. Oh my yourself. gosh! Oh my gosh! And and he, I was watching a little bit. He opened for Russell Peters at one point. Oh wow! Yeah, that is actually it's, a huge feat. It's huge. Yeah. Yeah. And also um, on a show called Spun Out, I believe, with um, Dave Foley. Okay. Another Canadian comedian slash icon. So yeah, yeah. like, and, and there's one picture here. I'm just noticing, uh, I believe part his partners maybe is wearing the uh, the play suit by Bedell. Yes, I remember yeah, seeing that video. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, which is yes. really cool. If you don't know what the play suit is, I know we're just, we're plugging um, a product now. <laughs> um it is this amazing for lack of better word jumpsuit um but coining it as some a a different terminology a play suit um in like the most vibrant amazing colors and super comfortable and pretty um stretchy and airy and flouncy flouncy? what would you want to call yeah i would say it's a it's a flouncy um bat wing oversized 
jumpsuit with a yeah. v-neck with a, v- a pretty deep v-neck line and also uh, slight little cuffs at the at the ankles so it has kind of a jogger kind of cut if I'm not mistaken yeah but really like and and he's someone we'd love to have on the show as well like Bedell it's interesting how much he's broken into the LGBTQ plus community with his product like I think you know anybody but really in that in that community and you'll see like you know, people that are, they're definitely on, um, higher up on their platforms or on quote unquote pedestal, so to speak, and their industries are now tuning in and noticing Bedell and wearing his play suit. So it's kind of, yeah. Well, and Bedell is also like the, the inaugural first winner of Project Runway Canada. And there was only two seasons and it was a finalist on the Good six point. episode six season of Project Runway All-Stars in the States. Mm, right. So again, I didn't another, know that. Wow. Yeah. So like another Toronto kind of native and then moving back to Vancouver and now living in Nelson, kind of closer to yeah. Rachel's area, has really yeah. made a name for themselves. And so Darcy is a huge support, huge fan of Bedell, which is where Rachel was referencing from. Mm-hmm. But, uh, you know, you would look really sexy in a play suit. I could see you wearing a play suit in the right print and the right silhouette. Like I could see. I've looked at them. Absolutely. It. Absolutely. I've looked yeah. at them. Thank you for saying that. But I have looked at them and I've been, I've been curious. I uh, haven't quite pressed that purchase button yet but um yeah. yeah i've definitely looked at some of the styles and all that kind of stuff so well, it could be maybe a nice for the spring gift oh yeah maybe oh god i can't believe our let's not even go and up. let's not i don't know i just basically mm. it was like i'm like a robot that just malfunctioned when you said birthday <laughs> <laughs> like no <laughs> oh look at that nice no. beautiful yeah yeah look background. at that beautiful beard yes Whoa. oh oh Whoa. speaking of and speaking Whoa. of play suit, we were just we were just talking about that. <laughs> the wall of play suits. I can't yeah. move the camera. Uh, yes. This is my husband's Twitch setup, and he yelled, "If you move the camera, I'll kill you." Uh, but yes, yes, there's a there's a wall that goes that way that's covered in play suits. Oh, I love so it. Funny. We will not tarnish yeah. the beautiful reputation that is Adele. We will not. <laughs> <laughs> if anything, Thank we're you. elevating him. Hopefully, yes, but yeah. I'm like, digging your light setup here. Oh, thank you so much. It's just a few lines, but they're like, you know, spread across the entire wall. You can't really see oh, the crazy. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, I yeah. like it. Thank you. I'm always, I'm always looking at what the kids have set up because <laughs> oh my god, he called oh. me a kid. <gasps> you I'm broke already, his I'm already stuff? breaking it. This oh, used no. to be <laughs> this used to be my studio and oh. Jer has taken over it. <laughs> oh uh, really? and everything is different now. I haven't been up here in a while. Oh, uh, let me funny. just close all this. Hi. 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 Oh, I nice look like a cherry tomato. <laughs> you look adorable. And I look like a ghost about? right now, but I know I um and after we talk about our skin um how uh, it's nice to meet you and thank you nice so much to meet for joining you. us i'm yeah. sorry it took and so long don't be sorry oh at God. all we're just grateful that you're here and that you're available and are still interested that's what matters to us <laughs> <laughs> good point yeah good point <laughs> Between the smoke in Vancouver today and I had a <gasps> six hour uh, recording session downtown like uh, for ADR for this project we filmed. Uh, so my voice, I apologize if it sounds extra <laughs> grovelly today. I'm, uh, I'm roasting and uh, it's so gross. Are you, are you guys Vancouver? Yeah, Vancouver. Yeah. He is. I'm, I'm in Vernon, so I'm in the Okanagan. Oh, but it's okay. still, it's, it's shit. It sucks. It's shit. Yeah, it's no, shit. It's terrible. Like, yeah, For lack of a better word, it is absolutely shit. And then this morning I woke up with a sore throat. So I'm kind of, I don't know if I'm like, I don't know. I'm battling a bit of a cold, <clears> but also the smoke. I don't, I don't know. I just got over COVID like two weeks ago as well. So uh, it, uh, I'm just going to play with these settings because I hate how fucking red I look. <laughs> All good. All good. No, no, I love the worse. beginning of this. this. Oh this my is, God, it's a lobster yeah. now. Oh it's, man. No. <laughs> I've definitely done something here. I don't know. All good. You balance Not us out problem. somehow, but um. Totally. I know Rachel's like on the white. I am. You're I'm on so the white. pale. I'm and so I've got pale like right the now. the Mediterranean like full on olive, or it's just a ton of grease <laughs> on my face potentially, but that's okay. Yeah. So Darcy, we did a, like a very quick uh, intro to to you. Um, oh, and dear. I know, you, I know you have no clue what we said. Um, yeah. they were, I'm going to have to watch it. You're going to have to watch job. it after and just yeah. see, <laughs> um, but with, with that being said, um, 
we always just love for our guests to to do their own little intro. However, whatever that means, I'm, I'm just going to leave it up to you. Like it's pretty, we're pretty chill. Oh, God. I, uh, I'm Darcy Michael. <laughs> I'm an idiot on the internet and sometimes I'm an idiot on stage. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. That's perfect. That's perfect. It's perfect. Doesn't it's get perfect. any more sincere than too that. seriously. No, That's, and yeah. it's funny because of the voice. I was just watching. Um, speaking of your your YouTube channel and with Jer and your um, excursions that you went on and oh, your yeah. your Dodge your your Ram My Dodge 15, Ram fifteen hundred. <laughs> I'm like your voice um, is is even better for that now, perhaps. <laughs> right? Yeah, I know. I should uh, I should record a bunch of uh, stupid Butch voice videos. I had one <laughs> pop off earlier this week because I don't know. Did you see Madonna's? Uh, she did that trend of like if I if I miss then I'm gay and like she throws a pair of underwear and misses the garbage. Uh, and no, so I, it's okay. such a stupid like TikTok trend. So I did it with yeah. like my butch voice. I put on like the cowboy gear and was like if I miss I'm gay. And then I just <laughs> let the ball roll off the back of my hand. I was like whoops, bottoms up. Uh, yes, yeah, that's, awesome. <laughs> oh, that's so brilliant. And it's great though, because again, you've had such a career and like history. And at the same time, what I'm curious about is that you really gentrified a lot through circumstance and also from the support of your partner, like through social media and through TikTok, right? It didn't yeah. really intend to go anywhere from my understanding. No, God, no, I was retired. I quietly, <laughs> I quietly retired like six months before COVID. Like I was just like done huh. for a bit, you know, like I'd had my stand up special come out on Crave. I'd been touring for like, I don't even know, 13 years. Uh, yeah. And a friend, a really close friend of mine passed away after like a long ba mm -hmm. battle with cancer. And I was like, I'm really like unhappy. And I think a lot of it had to do with the fact that I spent 13 years saying goodbye to Jaron Grace every week. And I was like, mm. okay, you know what? Like, if I'm going to take anything from Ashley passing, it's that I don't have to do this. Like, I can take a break. Jer had a really good job. I... I had, you know, like my royalties and stuff. I was smart with my sitcom money. And so I was mm -hmm. like, you know what? I'm going to just take three months off. And so I took three months off, Jer and I went to Europe and gallivanted around. And then we got home and I was like, I'm going to take three more months. Like, this is <laughs> like, you know, yeah. even knowing, like even Jer called it out because he was like, you kept saying three months, knowing that when you were ready to go back on the road, you wouldn't actually be going for like another six months by the time mm. you had gigs and all that. Uh, <clears throat> And so then, uh, and then COVID hit and I was like, well, here it is. The world is telling me like, just chill <laughs> right? out. Right. Yeah. And we had gotten a dog, uh, and like, she, we got her like three, like when we got back from Europe. So we'd be, been home for like three months. I, and I started a TikTok channel for her cause I didn't oh. know how to edit videos and their editor was really easy to use in the app. And I was like, I'll just post dumb puppy videos. Yeah. on this stupid kids app and then i started watching videos and i was like this is kind of fun i uh, and then like i think three or four months into having her account she blew up she because humans got this like rock obsession that people were really like intrigued by like uh, rock and roll or rock no like <laughs> rocks like <laughs> yeah, she right. wants like to like rocks, yeah. she wants to like dig out boulders from the bottom of the ocean oh uh, wow and so she got like all of a sudden she had like a hundred thousand followers on TikTok. And I was like, I've been doing this for how long? And my fucking six month old puppy is more successful on yeah. social media than I am. Like, yeah. are you fucking like, so then I just got bitter and jaded and was like, okay, let's see what I can do. Um, so then I started a an account and just posted stand up clips and they like my yeah. first clip got a million views overnight. What? Uh, and I was just like, that's what? the algorithm, man. Like I've been trying to reach queer audiences for my entire career. And then the algorithm was like, we got you, bro. Like we'll wow. send it to yeah. all the queers. Uh, and then, uh, and then it just kind of like COVID was so dark, you know, especially yeah, those yeah. like first three months of COVID, like yeah. we were so starved for joy. And so I was just fucking around. Like I was literally just 
having fun being an idiot referring to myself as a house husband and like catching <laughs> yeah. quips from Jer off camera like if you go back to the beginning of the channel it's such like a weird organic growth of like <laughs> me being an idiot on camera Jer quipping off camera to all of a sudden Jer being like give me the fucking camera like mm, interesting. Uh, yeah and it was uh, and then now here we are like two years later we just hit three million this morning what? I s okay yeah, I thought that had insane yeah. I thought that had already happened okay yeah no. maybe wow congratulations wow. do you say yeah. that like sure why not congratulations yeah I guess yeah. I don't know what does it fucking mean I don't know right? I know I'm turning this goddamn light off I'm obsessed <laughs> with how red I look oh but like, yeah, yeah, you're in a cave. There. Okay, no well, I don't mind right. it I don't okay. mind it that's, that's okay. okay that's okay that's um, okay <laughs> wow yeah so you just hit three million followers or three million views Three million followers. followers. Oh no, we get like fifty million views a month right now. The fuck? fuck? Yeah. So I mean, one, congratulations, and two, what the fuck are people doing? <laughs> hey, come on, it's it is funny stuff. Like, don't I, yeah. I, no, 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 I, I, it's uh, fucking brilliant stuff. I'm just saying, like, yeah, there's fifteen yeah, yeah. million people who oh, yeah. are observing. Like, that is fascinating. It's crazy. Yeah, I yeah. like we were just told the other day, like we're ranked, like which is such a stupid number, but we're ninety four hundred. Uh, is where we land on TikTok users, and then they're like, "But that's out of a billion users." And I was like, "Oh, oh okay. Well, that's interesting. That's, I guess like, that's, that's incredible." A, yeah, it. Uh, I think it's wow. also because we got in on the ground floor. You know, like we were already kind of uh, like I knew the app from watching it on Yuma's account, so I already right. like, and that's really like what was fascinating because everyone was calling it this kids app, and I started looking I at know, Yuma's I analytics, know. and I was like, well, wait, like the average age of Yuma's followers is 35, so mm -hmm. I'm not the huh. only one quietly using this app, and so that's <laughs> when I was like, okay, because when I first started her account, I had posted, I, I don't know if I've ever talked about, I posted one stand up clip uh on her account and there were three comments that said okay boomer and i was like delete delete oh. delete like i'm too old for this oh my Ooh, god good oh, to know geez. but then oh. something changed where it just really started like blowing up in north america and i was like okay let's dance let's do this wow so, so where, blah, 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 blah. where 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 most of your followers come from then in your analytics uh, you know, i think like, it's like geographically percent american wow uh yeah. 10 percent, 10 15 percent canadian and then the rest are like worldwide yeah wow. 80 percent maybe american. it's, maybe it's 70 yeah. percent american i think it's 70 i don't yeah. know jared deals with that shit now that's not my issue right <laughs> right just the talent yeah. <laughs> that's kind of what just the face like sorry i'm so like excited to, to talk to you because there was that <laughs> wow. there was one just with the face thing that one um, more recent video with your face on your wall. Oh, yeah. Like, is it still there? I'm sure it is. <laughs> it's still there for now. Yeah. We're negotiating. <laughs> okay. We're oh negotiating. <laughs> it's definitely a placeholder for real art. But, okay. That was uh, pretty fucking funny. Yeah, I thought it was fucking great. <laughs> Talk about, like, just adults with money. Like, yeah, we should, you know, like, because we also, like, yeah. we've already raised a kid. Like, we're in our 40s pretending like we're in our 20s now because right. we already yeah. had that, like, we didn't have much of our 20s because we were raising Grace and stuff. And so so now it's like oh. I feel like we're having more fun. Like Jer is streams on Twitch playing video games three days a week, and he's like <laughs> the best job in the world. I'm like, you're we're living like twelve year old boys. It's that wild. is amazing. But Go well ahead, deserved, Hero, please. Yeah. Well, no. What I'm curious about too, though, is when you're talking about TikTok, and it's interesting. We haven't had a discussion about TikTok really come up on our podcast that I can think of very specifically. Not but really, in terms yeah. of like monetization and branding, in terms of marketing and media, even if uh, Jar is doing a lot of that, is it actually a viable income stream? Yeah. Yeah. really uh in different in in a different sense in canada for sure mm -hmm. uh because we don't have like the creator fund like they do in the states but even the creator right. fund uh unless tiktok's listening the creator fund's kind of <laughs> bullshit anyways like it's right penny, <laughs> it's pennies uh yeah. but it's the trickle economics of it like you're reaching 50 million people a month and so you just do like the 10 percent, 10 percent, 10 percent rule like 10 percent might follow you and then 10 percent might click the link on your bio 10 right. percent of those might buy your merch or 10 percent of those might download your album and then all of a sudden you're dealing with hundreds of thousands of people still consuming your purchasable content plus mm -hmm. we're you know like 
we like Jared and I do ads on our thing. Like we do one or two ads a month. We try not yeah. to like, we, like, listen, if it was up to Jer, I would look like a fucking race car driver in every video <laughs> covered with logos. Like yeah. Jer would sell yeah. my soul to the devil uh, for, for a fucking ad. But I, I'm like, no, like I want it to be, you know, like I want it to be obvious when we're doing an ad. So people don't like think they don't get tricked into watching. Yeah, something. I still yeah. want the ad to be entertaining. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I don't want it to be too much. Like I want it to be, you know, like if you see seven great Smart. videos and then there's an ad, cool. Like yeah. welcome to our channel kind of thing. Uh, but when you've got that, you know, like the reach we have, the ad money is really fucking good. <laughs> yeah, incredible. that yeah. is incredible. Yeah, it's uh, it's been fun. And like, obviously, like I'm booking more uh, like acting work and and voice work and stuff because of the exposure. So that makes it easier as well. And I was going to ask about that, too. Yeah. 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 It's uh, like Jared quit his full time job in December, I guess, because uh, wow. it was just so busy that it was like either I have to hire staff or like to help me just exist mm-hmm. or you just quit yeah. your job and we try and make this a thing and so that's wow. basically what we've been doing and yeah. what, what, what was he doing sorry he was an office manager for uh for like a big old shitty when I <laughs> yeah big big for a big old corporation. company yeah yeah, right. yeah. yeah. and he yeah. like it was very corporate very like mm-hmm. nine to nine kind of hours and stuff so it's Jeez. been really oh. fun watching him absolutely flail with freedom like he is yeah just like some days i'm like you got to figure out something to do like i've yeah. got a routine you know yeah yeah, yeah. it's absolutely. like i've arrived i've arrived let's yeah. do everything it's, yeah. it's like, congratulations welcome to yeah. my life i'm gonna go now... smoke a joint in the garden yeah. Yeah. exactly alone. exactly <laughs> yeah go take care of the dog or go do something yeah. else go take another <laughs> exactly. photo of yourself and put it on the wall that way we could stare at each other <laughs> yeah. from either side of the wall in the stairwell some yeah, people that are trying to get us to shit. do like an eye roll photo of jer like rolling his eyes on the other side of the wall and oh that's pretty it. funny and we'll see i don't know that a little be... creepy but <laughs> Yeah, I'm surprised hysterical. it's up still. I thought for sure it was going to get ripped down right away. But it was so, <laughs> fun. so fun. That's incredible. And so in terms of like getting into comedy, entertainment and media, um, just from your personal perspective, how did that all come together for you? And also, were you born in VC in, in like Latin no. area? No, no okay. I was born. I was born in Pickering, Ontario, which is okay. just outside of okay. Toronto. Um, okay. uh, and we moved out. Yeah, I always say you're from where your balls dropped or from where you hit puberty. <laughs> uh, and so, I like I, that. Like, because I think I love, like where yeah, you yeah. spend your formative puberty years is yeah. where yeah. you tend to be think of as home, or it's where my mo- the most of my memories are from. So I grew yeah. up in Lynn Valley in North Van. Uh, so did I. Shut up. No, I'm way. actually not that. I don't think I'm that much younger than you. I mean, okay. I, I'm, I, I think <laughs> I'm a lot. Older than you. A lot? But, okay. Yeah. Uh, what, year, what high school I, did you go to? I went to Argyle. No way. Yeah, so <laughs> yes. did I. Okay. That's wow. crazy. Okay. So Small world, but yet not. Uh, I know let's now. Let's do the I, test. I, without asking your age. <laughs> I like was, this. Was Mrs. Mulder still a teacher there? Yes. Was Lloyd Burrett still the drama teacher? Uh, he just had, he quit when I was in grade eight or grade nine. Okay. So what year? So, two, 2002? And one, 2001. 2001. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, so, I was 98. Wow. Okay. Oh my God. We were in the we same school together. Oh my God, man. We did. We like, would have. Yeah. yeah. We did. Yeah. Wow. Did, I ever, did you take drama? I did not actually, okay. which is so weird. I was going to say, because my last two years of high school was basically in the theater. Like, in the theater. Yeah. Did. Yeah. Which is super weird because my parents, this, this is not about me, but my parents were musical theater performers growing up. And so there was no a lot of that kind of stuff in my family. So I'm surprised I didn't really take the like on the stage kind of route. What was for your some extracurricular? Reason. I played school. the alto saxophone. Oh, I didn't know that. Uh, Mr. O. Oh, yeah. oh, Mr. Mr. O kicked me out of band in grade nine. Uh, Ooh, and, uh, I called him an oh, asshole my. and left. Uh, <laughs> and that was uh, that was the end of me playing the alto sax. Oh, shit. No way. Yeah, this is oh, creepy. my God. This is weird. creepy. Wow. Uh, I, took, I was in choir with Francis Roberts. Yes. Uh, yeah. Um, this is so weird. Where in Lynn Valley I'm did not... you live? <laughs> If you say I can say anywhere... the street because you know I don't give a crap. I don't want to live yeah. there anymore. But I lived on McNair Drive. 
So McNair, I was like way, way up the mountain, up the mountain highway. highway. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. At the I was, very uh, end. Yeah. Yeah. I was going to say, uh, I, my first boyfriend That's in hilarious. high school had a townhouse just off of like Dempsey Braemar. So okay. I spent a lot of time yeah. up there, but I was yeah. William. I lived on the corner of William and Shakespeare. Uh, oh, what? Love. what the fuck? Yeah, love. our little neighborhood was Poets Corner. It was like Chaucer, huh. Tennyson, oh, yeah, William yeah, yeah, Shakespeare, yeah. like yeah. all these. Wow. Uh, yeah, that's so funny. Oh, Darcy is so random, but like, so I think weird. the only person. I will that... know people in your I, grad class. I, I have. Pop... have <laughs> fuck this. You got your, you got your God yearbook. God, yearbook. This is, oh my God. No way. Exclusive getting juicy. I, I was going to say, I'm going to find your yearbook photo. I had no clue you were a valley boy that is so there is Wait, did you hear what he just said oh oh what no what i'm gonna Me? find your yearbook photo <laughs> oh gross it's so funny do you have i'm sweating do you have siblings i do but there, but she's younger and my brother okay. my brothers went to argyle in grade 12 but he was he's 50 he's a lot older so um yeah argyle but... ni- this is argyle 98 oh. so if you're three years younger than oh me, i would have been there grade, oh ew, grade ew. nine oh this is fucking <laughs> this is scandalous so... oh my god rachel you're getting I'm actually, your red like, i'm by, actually by getting Michael. I'm actually, that is pretty fucking I'm actually awesome getting um, Reclam, little, uh i schmitzing. found you i'm schmitzing. i already what? found you was that fast no <laughs> no i don't even know hold on let me find the finger there's some terrible Ew, hair happening here terrible... oh my god Rachel. i can't really oh it's awful awful oh, those yeah, first couple that's... of years were, were you so gro- bad you were definitely growing out a bad dye job there. i was growing out a bad dye job that that i did to myself i probably bleached my hair about five times over like yeah you can see it week. growing out oh and my then god that's... it's awful and then like you know in in that era it was like the era of plucking your eyebrows so you had none oh right yeah that was and like so the meth that eyebrows was the thing that yeah. was the thing and oh, then so, yeah there's some arc oh there's some here. bad eyebrows and so I'm, I'm lucky <laughs> i'm lucky because um, oh you went to you were in bill scott's grade I was really good friends yeah. with his sister Tina. Oh, uh, this is so funny. What a random. I know. Turn. A bit of a tangent, you guys but... asked me if I was born in BC, and then fast forward three minutes later, I'm like, and here's Rachel oh, in high my school. God. Uh... <laughs> that's okay. You can't see her. Bar- that's a terrible. Oh my god. I'm. But seriously... that just shows how connected we are. I though. love that's what's this. So beautiful. I love Times this. like this that I wish I still had my high school podcast because that's so funny. You have. Okay. Uh, sorry. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. What? Yeah, I mentioned that you're a podcast but i didn't know that a you high were school podcast. you said you well i had a anymore. podcast called high school sucked uh but yeah. i had to i had to step away in the spring because we were okay. just so busy right. and then I, I we were trying to come back all summer and so i did one episode like a month ago just saying kind of goodbye because it was just oh, like okay. i just felt like i was screwing over the other host and like the guests because it just it's just been so Busy. Well, you guys saw how hard it was to book me for this, right? Uh, like, yeah, it took but while. but we got here. We got yeah. here, and I'm stoked to have. We're having like a weird, an odd little mini reunion. Yeah, uh, <laughs> valley people. Like, I don't know. It's That's super so strange, funny. but really cool. Um, yeah. Okay, so Upperland Valley bus. What's I up? know. Uh, I I'm impressed by the way that you look <laughs> so good for your age because i literally would have like hero how old can i ask how old you are oh yeah i'm 30. yeah okay like i pegged you like late 20s and so i just assumed that you were the Mm -hmm. same so go fuck yourself i would i would if i could thousand dollars worth of botox that's what this is (laughs) oh you're sitting there all a la natural no hey hey i gotta no no, no, not really but i gotta say something so and well actually this is maybe a good segue um I've never had children, number one. Fair. Okay. So okay, I think keep, I high. tell people that because honestly, like, I mean, yeah, it, that puts a little bit of hair you. in your chest. It says yeah, like a, little, a lot you. to you. Yeah. Um, and with that being said, I am curious if you don't mind me asking. So you, you were uh, a dad in your twenties. Yeah, we. Well, it's, uh, it's kind of young these days mm-hmm. to say that, I guess. Yeah. You know, but Jer, uh, my husband, Jer had grace when he was 19 and we met when wow. Grace was three. Uh, wow. And we've been together ever since she's 24 now. 
Uh, wow. And so, and yeah, like talk about like Grace is an adventurer by spirit and nature and job mm. now. Uh, and so yeah, like we have aged because of our constant fear of like, <laughs> what is she doing now? Like, yeah. Right. Uh, yeah, no, she's great though. She's an amazing kid, and uh, like the two of them are the best thing that ever happened for uh, sure. But yeah, we were babies. We were babies raising. No a baby. kidding. Oh wow. my gosh. And so, how did the two of you meet then? What was the relationship kind of? we met oh my god i hate telling this story because it's so trash we (laughs) met on a we met online uh but before it was a thing like it was before like like it was oh my god we've been together 21 Mm. years so it was like before myspace or craigslist even existed it was a website called face pick do you, you hero you're gonna be too young but msn yeah. Messenger don't... oh was yeah like yeah yeah thing. and so yeah. it, it, this website that like basically connected you to other people random people's msn messenger but you could see oh. like a little bit about them like their name their age oh man or their birth date that. and like no where they way. lived and okay. jerry and i just started chatting on that and then we talked for like six months i just like worked in a call center and just talk to him all day uh and then we met but it was one of those like when we met we both had friends hiding uh outside the restaurant to make sure they weren't like serial killers because like now (laughs) it's like you go on fucking grinder tumblr tumblr this is how fucking out of touch i am (laughs) you go on tumblr (laughs) Tumblr. and the next thing you know let me just get my tumblr fucking some (laughs) yeah Uh, yeah. (laughs) hilarious oh my uh, yeah we just met that's how we met but we uh we didn't tell that story for the longest time and then we were like whatever everybody why knows. not you're like that's the og right yeah, there right we, yeah we, and i are constantly blazing trails <laughs> no seriously the fact it's called like face it. pick it's like you could tell that's definitely like not gonna fly today like it's no. either like you know like cock pick or yeah exactly you know, facebook right. or whatever like that's like, like and if it's cock pick or whatever the photo is gonna be like you know, the two dots and a smile like when you have yeah. these asian <laughs> yeah. adaptations like oh it's a piece of toast oh it's a cow no it's two dots and a fucking squiggly line that gives it a face like no it's not a fucking thing it's just a square with a little so i get it it's like that's wait a second does adorable. that i know that doesn't exist exactly but does it does on on the the gay apps like grinder and stuff like that i mean from what you've told me here a lot of the time it is just a dick pic oh it, yeah or my, or my or right oh yeah. no people yeah. send unsolicited yeah. photos all the time you can yeah. have an archive yeah. and print them out and make a little collage and everything yeah. you have a fucking art yeah. exhibit yeah like yeah. it's very easy it's funny yeah. to me we were having this conversation the other day because <laughs> i get sent a like a large amount of unsolicited dick pics in my mm-hmm. dms to the point Still. that like yeah and i'm oh, like wow. it, like it's like also like do you have you met my brand like it's yeah you yeah know, i'm you know half the time i think it's people trying to bait to get yeah. a screenshot and stuff i'm like thanks i'm not that desperate i have google uh <laughs> but it's also like there's a form of it that is almost sexual assault in yeah. the sense that like yeah. it's if you walked up to me in the street and flashed your dick to me that is yeah. assault yes, so it where's is. the difference because it's you know like uh, i try totally. i'm not a prude at all like i love dicks send yep. them to me but at the same time i'm like send them when i ask you know yeah like, right yeah there's yeah, a yeah, lot yeah. of ugly dicks yeah. in my dm oh so <laughs> they can news. be so ugly oh yeah, they can be a, so ugly no. <laughs> just because you're into a body part doesn't mean that you're into all of them yeah no yeah it, absolutely but... there's very specific ones for me yeah mm-hmm. absolutely and if jer's watching it's his <laughs> oh i love it i love it um so what i find good. interesting though what you just said about the harassment sexual harassment thing um if if for example it, it is still just so different from boys or or men or whatever whoever whomever has a penis to those like if it was a woman for example mm-hmm. and she was sent an unsolicited dick pic like on, and that that was a thing like that's just not a thing it wouldn't be a thing yeah no because it, people no, it's would go packing bananas like so there For is sure. it's just so interesting there's always that there's still standards. yeah absolutely yeah, yeah i know absolutely but I mean, let's like, just be clear I just for anyone I don't <laughs> think we have it harder than women uh you know like no. I will I will absolutely step back and be like y'all take the cake y'all have it rougher. oh yeah <laughs> well, yeah absolutely I mean just, just saying like even how men can be so like men and they can just yeah. be like you know like i want to shove it in you and ha- have, have you have my babies like yeah that is such a common 
phrase I will like hear from men. Oh, yeah, things sure. like that. Mm. And I'm just thinking, I'm not going to hear a guy. If a guy says they want to impregnate you, that's a different story. And it's still yeah. vulgar and gross, but it's not like they actually want to have your kids. They just want to fuck yeah. you so hard that it's like that they're going to get you pregnant. It's a yeah, very yeah, different yeah. scenario to a woman. That's... It's like, no, I want to get you pregnant. It's like, uh, no, hold on a second. Yeah. Pump your brakes, yeah. bad boy. Like, that's yeah. my Pump fucking it. consent, yeah. not yours. You know, like, yeah. You pump your very brakes. very your brakes. different yeah exactly <laughs> crank that shit back wow, lock it up on such an interesting tangent yeah, yeah sorry my happens. adhd so, tends to take no over. i like no, no this is this I'm is what we're all about yeah. we're, we're, oh we're, are you okay. i'm neuro, i've got autism and nvod and rachel oh, no way yeah how old were you when you diagnosed nvod i was diagnosed uh when i was about 10 or even before but autism i self-diagnosed actually this august and it, i've definitely had it my entire life i just noticed my brain was really catching up with my body and i thought i have to figure out what the fuck's going on yeah so i'm on a wait list for a proper assessment but you know they take a year and a half yeah so. it takes forever it took me forever for my adhd diagnosis for sure yeah uh, yeah I <clears throat> that's yeah. wild well good for you because uh mm -hmm. it's tough uh, especially with uh autism do you know about amy schumer's story with her husband i don't i know who she is but i don't know her very well or uh she got married and uh oh, it's I part of her show is. life with beth on apple i think it is um yeah. maybe it's disney i can't remember but uh that's like a, a year great into, show in a year into yeah. her marriage she realized that she was like hey like i think you're autistic and he's like oh. a successful like 40 year old man that was like what no and then like all of a sudden they start like going through the process and he's mm -hmm. like holy fuck like i'm autistic it's yeah mm -hmm. yeah it's uh it's wild i uh I was worried, like not worried. I was wasn't sure if it, if I was spectrum on that side of it or where yeah. I was gonna land, because uh, I'm very sensitive to like noise uh, is a huge thing for me, uh, especially yeah. like sensory overload. I had no Same. idea that was related to ADHD for mm -hmm. people. I always was like, well, that's an autism thing, and so right. I've I've learned more about uh, ADHD in the last two years than I have in like my entire life. It's been yeah. really wow. fascinating. I agreed with that. It's super fascinating. And even like identifying as autistic and realizing all the things that I've done, it was interesting because I thought, I know there's more than just being having NVLD. It's a yeah. certain part of the spectrum. But I even in our earlier episodes, I would say to Rachel, you know, I'm not autistic, but I'm NVLD and it has its own spectrum. And then all mm -hmm. of a sudden, I'm like dating somebody or the last two people I was kind of dating, one for longer, one for more shorter, and seeing some correlations and seeing through COVID how my brain has really shifted as I've gotten older and more mature and then i yeah. realized no 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 there is a trend here and it's it's me yeah so what's causing that because i'm the, not trying to cause any of these repeat. patterns yeah yeah it, uh, yeah yeah it was uh, very similar for me i i when i learned about rejection sensitivity dysphoria uh oh. i hmm. i was like wait a second what like those funny. those thoughts that i let take over my brain are actually part of um some sorry my husband's stupid gaming system just popped up <laughs> no that's okay shit. didn't uh, see it in your eyes yeah. so in your glasses, well, you, i just no realized reflection. you couldn't see it in my eyes because no. uh, i'll take them off so you can see my <laughs> stoner eyes oh, so cute uh, <laughs> um but yeah, it was uh, like learning about RSD and uh, and like auditory issues and stuff like that, and and realizing like oh these patterns that have repeated with relationships my entire life, mm -hmm. Jer excluded. I'm like oh this is all. Mm -hmm there's almost like a mourning process that you go through after diagnosis, especially as an adult. Yeah. Like I was only mm -hmm. diagnosed five years ago uh, where I start going, wow. Oh my God, like what the fuck? What if I could go back to Argyle? Like what if I was taught in a oh, way boy. that worked with my brain, I where would I be? Way. Would I be a fucking doctor today? I don't know. Like yeah. I, the school system completely failed me and mm -hmm. I found yeah. theater and it saved me. But then I spent, you know, the rest of my life being an idiot being distracted you know mm -hmm. like it yeah it's interesting like you really have to kind of come to terms with being okay with the it took this long to get yeah. to the understanding and mm -hmm. that you now have control over 
stopping those patterns. Yeah. And yeah, being okay it, with your journey. Like this, this was your mm-hmm, journey. That's just what, sure. what it took to get to where you are. And you know, now and it's like a shame-free journey too. Like I, yeah, yeah. I can look at it and go, yeah, I owe some people apologies for how I treated them. Or like, I can be a little aloof or, you know, come off as like kind of distant or distracted, or I don't listen, but it's like, that's just part of who I am. But mm-hmm. like, I never expected like through TikTok, we really started to like ex- talk about my diagnosis and ADHD and stuff. And mm-hmm. uh, in there, I was like, oh, like there are people that are still trying to understand where they're at in their journey and this is helping them. Then like the journey is worth it because it led yeah. 100%. Yeah. It's and about I being f- an advocate. Yeah. yeah. And I do find that, that that tends to happen a lot more with people in our age demographic because like you hit the nail on the sure. head. You said like how, okay, well in high school, you know, you were, you weren't given any of those tools. You were any, anyone who has any sort of mental health challenge. We didn't, we didn't talk about it. So no, it was God, sim- no. in the nineties. No, no, ex- no, exactly. <laughs> not in the nineties. Sure like not. I would say hero, so- <laughs> your generation is probably the first one that really started to see the tip of the iceberg of like yeah. acknowledging mm-hmm. mental health. Yes. Uh, <clears throat> and yes. like now, like the, the next generation, like there's actually like positive things happening. Like there, totally. there is. And also like my brother, uh, the two of us were on like in the whole like gifted children spectrum. You know, that was the whole buzz term then with the gifted right. learners yeah. and stuff. And that was another way of basically saying you're a divergent or something that was an alternative learner. So like for, even sure. for me, you know, I had the luxury of going to private schools, special ed programs, learning disability programs and things like that, alternative high schools, which even those were tough, but at least it yeah. got it through. And then it wasn't until post-graduation, like, you know, early 2010s. And even I would say mid 2010s where this gradual outpouring of information and empowerment for being vulnerable and not seeing it as a deficit to hold you back or be treated differently. It really started, I think, in the last seven years. And it really started mm-hmm. with COVID. It really, yeah. really fucking opened totally. the ball for COVID. Yeah. And I'm proud of yeah. that. Co- yeah. the, fact the pandemic yeah. woke people the fuck up. Not just mental health, but neurodiversity as well. For sure. I think it just caused us all to stop. (laughs) Like we literally just had to be like, okay, who am I with nothing? You know, like who, like, what am I when everything else is removed from my existence? Even for like some people, it was only those first two weeks, but those first two weeks were questionable, you know, like there was a lot of us being like, I'm not well dealing with this. Yeah, and then you start to notice everything else, and you're like, "Oh, I haven't been well for a long time." <laughs> yeah, okay. exactly. I've just been busy fighting to fucking survive. Yeah, you exactly. Know? And all the counselors Absolutely. and therapists are raking it in virtually, and all oh, of us they're are making to so them. much, and they don't so even have to much. go into the office. Not anymore. Yeah, they don't. That's true. No, it's pretty phenomenal. And so, like, kind of tying that together, like again, when you think about your background in entertainment and media and comedy and being a representative for multiple communities, including the queer community, uh, where did that all kind of start from? Like you mentioned like high school and kind of like growing up in Ontario, but like, where did that start and transition to being a professional media image for yourself, especially is, as the change of media? Like, I think everything of, of my life is super organic. I, I always loved theater. I always thought like, it'd be really cool to be an actor, but I never really like put the effort in. Like I moved to Toronto, back to Toronto when I was 18 and studied at second city for, mm. uh, I was supposed to be there mm. for a year. I went to three classes in four months. Cause I was also 18 freshly out of the closet, <laughs> just wanting to party. And like, you know, yeah. they always say like gay men have two mm. adolescents, the yeah, first, their first adolescence, and then they're coming out adolescence. Mm, yeah. uh, and so you kind of revert to this 13 year old boy being like, ah, I need to do all the things I couldn't do in high school. Uh, And so that distracted me. And then I, you know, like had to get a job and like, you know, I moved back to Vancouver and just got like random jobs. And so it just, the dream disappeared for a while. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, and then when I, when Jared and I got married, I was 24, I think maybe 23, uh, it was cheaper than adopting Grace. That's why we were like, oh, the Whoa, paperwork for me to adopt Grace is more expensive. And like, wow. it was complicated because like her mom's very heavily involved in her life. She lives across the street from us. We co-parented her, like all this stuff. But wow. we were like, let's just get married. Let's have a fucking wedding. Uh, and I gave a really <laughs> funny speech at the wedding. And Jer was <laughs> yeah. like, just do stand up. Like you should try. 
and so he bought me one of these courses where you go and like learn to write stand up and it's so cringe uh <laughs> but i did it uh, i i did it and six weeks later you put on like a show for friends and family uh oh and wow that, uh that night like i just i crushed the jokes were so bad i every now and then gerald repeat one back to me just to be like you come from humble beginnings uh can we, but can i was we just hear like one can we hear oh, one the only one i remember is a lot of people su are surprised to find out that I'm gay, not as surprised as my first wife. My <laughs> second wife was just pissed off. Uh, like, just like stupid. Okay, stupid sure. Shit, yeah. You know? right, For sure. right. Yeah. Uh, like, really fast. <laughs> so cringe. But I was so convinced I was going to be, uh, like, I was just going to, like, be huge. I went and bought DarcyMichael.com that night. <laughs> like, nice. Wow. Was like, I need a website. I'm a yes. comedian. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, it, uh, yeah, it was so, uh, it was so dumb. And then that's just how it started. I'd never been to a comedy show until my uh, first time on stage in a comedy club. Like, I'd never watched huh. it. Come on. Oh, like, wow. I'd seen Eddie Murphy delirious and like, right, I yeah, watched yeah. like a couple just for laughs things like with my parents, sure. but stand up was never something like yeah. I was obsessed with, but then it turned out I was really good at it. So I That's... just kind of uh, went that way for, I don't know, like, yeah, 12, 13, 15, I guess That's 15 a... years ago. I don't know. Wow. It's, I'm really bad with dates. It's all good. <laughs> That's no okay. Problem. Time no blindness. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh my god. So is it and is this something that you that you do miss being on stage? I keep thinking I miss it. And yeah. then I go and watch a show and see something go wrong for either the audience or the comic. And I go, you know what I don't miss? That. That's uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, like I yeah, like I just feel like it's a very toxic environment, mm. uh, especially like when you're in the club scene and you're like working the 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 road gigs and stuff. Like, especially as a queer guy, you yeah. know, like I was always going to, you know, like one nighters in fucking Regina or Medicine <laughs> Hat. Like I was yeah. doing like the road gigs wow. uh, where yeah. you're, you know, like there was one time uh, I talk about it in my Crave special where uh, they kicked six skinheads out of a show and they waited for me in the parking <gasps> lot and no one in the club would walk me to the hotel across the street and so I oh had to like God. call Jer give him the address of the hotel and the local detachment for the police and was like if the phone dies call the police like these guys are going to chase me and they chased me straight to the hotel and I was Holy like oh my God. Fuck. the whole time I was like I'm going to have a heart attack before these guys before they catch you catch yeah me. oh <laughs> my God. but you know like there's it's it was like it's that's the like the touring in Canada it's a great country and we're a very progressive country but there mm -hmm. are still very very old time conservative pockets mm -hmm. but to make it in this country you have to go there like mm -hmm. where you had to back then now you don't like now there is like I'm global like Jer and I literally can't go anywhere these days without people stopping us like uh, I was gonna ask whoa. you that too wow yeah it's wow. it, like it's way more the reach is way bigger than you know like i had a sitcom for two years in canada i maybe yeah. get stopped once every six months by someone being like are you rick mercer you know uh whereas like now it's <laughs> like it, yeah. it took jerry and i 45 minutes to leave uh we went to see trixie and catch up the queen the other night <sighs> oh and amazing ended up having like a impromptu meet and greet with like a lineup of fans waiting to say hi and stuff and we're like oh, wow okay, this is the reality oh my now God. the weirdest the weirdest was on our road trip we were in i want to say we were in south dakota or wyoming like we got recognized everywhere on the road but we pull into like this small town there's like a one gas station and like uh like some sort of shitty coffee shop and i <laughs> we go into the gas station to pee and as we're walking in we hear our voices on the cashier oh no weird watching us on tiktok and we just are like hi can we have the key to the washroom and she's like doing like these oh yeah, wow. what the yeah. fuck like oh my god like, there's only 30 people that live in this town <laughs> like it was uh, wow. that was wild yeah huh. what's wow. the what's the uh average age uh 
that For you find us, that like, comes up to you that will recognize oh, you is there all ages all yeah, ages really. yeah. yeah yeah for sure like we even we were in tofino this summer and these two like 16 year old boys walked up to us and like, oh wow total like tofino like stoner vibes being like yo <laughs> we follow you and we're like yo what <laughs> like okay <laughs> you don't fit the demographic but cool wow. thanks don't tell your parents uh <laughs> right <laughs> please stay 10 feet away from me i don't want to end up on a list yeah <laughs> so funny it just get washed away in the shore anyways but the, yeah. that is crazy literally thank you i'm here all night <laughs> yeah oh man oh my god so all right so you're saying now because we're kind of bring, we've done we've done a lot of like skipping back and forth between yeah, sorry, eras yeah, and yeah. all those things and I, that's that's just the way we roll i love it so speaking of now you're auditioning you're doing you're actually you're going out and doing you you've actually yeah, like, gotten I, some ex, uh exposure like you said from tiktok not and some... as in yeah like i'm not as interested at, or as i guess the word i'm not as desperate for the work now so yeah. i can like be a little pickier and choosier and plus like you know jared and i are doing well without having the industry support so okay i'm fine yeah. to keep you know like i uh uh, but yeah, I, I filmed a show for CBS uh, earlier called, oh my God, what the fuck's it called? Oh, this is why I'm the <laughs> That's okay. Man. That's I okay. some show. <laughs> it was You're fun, really man. bad at plugging uh, yourself. No, oh yeah, no, I am. I'm, I'm like <laughs> SkyMed. That's what it was called, SkyMed, some show. SkyMed, okay. On, on Paramount and CBS and oh, I think cool. CBC in Canada but okay. uh, I, I did that and then uh, like we uh, Jared and I have a long-term partnership with Prime Video so we do a lot of stuff for them uh, like we they sent me down to South by Southwest so Lizzo cool. could teach me how to dance uh, which was really fun yeah. and then we did uh, a bunch of stuff with the cast of Lord of the Rings and the boys uh, and wow. so I uh, heard about that yeah it's been that part's wow. been really fun but yeah like for now we're just like hey let's just make stupid videos on the internet I guess and live yeah that. yeah yeah kind of, uh, kind of try to find a, a balance of like living and uh, filming and stuff like we for sure have days where we're one of us like jared wanted to film me earlier today and i was like no like i don't want to be on camera i've been yeah like, in a recording booth all day i have to do a yeah. podcast tonight don't fucking point a camera at me <laughs> absolutely <laughs> well thank you for letting us point yours yeah at thank you yeah, it's all right I'm a cherry <laughs> it's yeah. going to be my my uh, mission this week to fix the lighting in this room <laughs> Now that I've been back up here, I'm like, what have you fucking done in here? Yeah, yeah. It's like, Either... a game cave, leave me alone. Yeah. Yeah. It's the Twitch setup now, not yours. Get your own. Yeah. Either that or your next your next TikTok video will be you literally with your face painted red. You yeah. are a tomato. Yeah. You've become yeah. a tomato. Yeah. Right. You are Halloween for Halloween. There you go. Cherry tomato. Maybe, eh? Yeah. So do you ever find, since you've become more um, exposed through media and people are reaching out to you, how often do you find you get people asking you, especially other queer folks, for advice or guidance mm -hmm. or mentorship? Do you find there's a small oh, pocket of people that ask you for that? For sure. Like, I get uh, a lot of the time it's parents reaching out now, like, going, Aww. hey, like, how do I support my kid? Or, like, oh, wow. how do I do that? Like, I unfortunately it's gotten the beast has gotten too big like i had to close my t tiktok dms because tiktok oh, defaults yeah. to having your dms open oh. I, and then i just i had like two hundred and fifty thousand unread messages and i was like this human holy yeah. and like instagram what? i still have like forty thousand dms that i'm just never gonna get to so what i do is like once a week i'll spend like an hour just randomly picking a message to open and if it's like reply worthy i'll send it but we also have like my email is like our contact is listed on our all our bios so like people that want to get in touch are able to get in touch mind yeah. you it's not going to me it's going to our team but the, right. they'll filter through to me and stuff but yeah like i it's an impossible like i don't know how some of these people get their dms like you know you'll see like somebody yeah. like lady gaga replying to a dm i'm like you must have come millions on of DMs. Like, yeah you know yeah. but 
I think they do the same thing. Like, it's just like, I just scroll and stop and open a message being like, okay, you're getting a reply today. Is that what happened yeah. with us? How did, how, Hero, how did you, how did you make this happen? <laughs> no, so I was saying in the beginning, yeah, how before did you this, popped I don't know, how did this I, happen? Yeah. Even Jer yeah, <laughs> asked, he was like, who booked this? And I was how like, the fuck honestly, happened? we've been emailing so long. I don't I remember. Know. I don't, okay, I so, don't know. So believe it or not, um, I saw the LOL, LOL Canada coming out um on prime and i saw uh, mm -hmm. deborah was on it yeah so I, and i watched deborah growing up she uh actually like video trial and teams. trevor boris and all that yeah and stuff and uh anyways long story short and so i dm'd her and i saw that she was coming to Vancouver for something last may yeah uh, and she was performing at the vogue and so i said hey like i would love to have you on the show because that's just me i'm like if you want something go for it and kind of gave my number own personal rule, the number one piece of advice i will ever give someone Ooh, is please. never be afraid to ask never be afraid to ask especially yeah. if you're not going to get anything trevor boris taught me that yeah like, oh yeah had on the we've show. had him on yeah yeah yeah, cool. yeah. and so i was just going yeah. through my 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 high school kind of generation of like okay who are some queer individuals that I looked up to, people that were from, you know, media entertainment that might be connected mm -hmm. in production or reality TV or podcasts, things like that. And I actually saw Deborah tag you um, in a story or a post or something. I can't recall the context, but it was yeah. like celebrating you on a show you might have done. So I tapped on your on the tag. I saw your profile and I realized a lot of the overlaps and connections. So then yeah, I yeah. did my part and did all the all the things, comment, DM email yeah, yeah. press and then i heard back within a couple of days from you i think and then it just Great. happened to be that wow <laughs> yeah so it was, it's timing but it's timing that's, too though it's timing, timing that's timing. true and that's it's true. intention and it's intention yeah. you know like we put a lot of i put a lot of of thought and intention into writing our skeletons for when we pitch our show to people yeah. and also tie it to personal experiences and what That's they mean smart. to me and to i remember person, the so. email uh because i think it might like it was probably <clears throat> sent to like the the group email that someone yep. like that and then oh yeah anytime it's like an ask for like an appearance and stuff the team always just sends it to me to be like right. it's up to you because that's one of the things it was like none of you are making those choices like just yeah filter out the crazies i don't need to be <laughs> told that i'm just dying and going to hell kind of thing i already yeah. know uh, and so, uh, I'm gonna take it. I got my yeah, ticket. yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, but I do remember your email being very, mm -hmm. uh, like, very smartly written. Uh, oh, but yeah, oh, it that's was nice. Uh, too. Trevor, the way he got his job doing uh, Big Brother was him straight up being like reaching out, emailing the producers and saying, "Hey, that's right. yeah, we yeah, worked together before." And I uh, and he, that was when I was like. You just ask for things. You like, just ask for things, and you yeah, but you ask for yeah. things. But you ask for things intentionally and sincerely, and all for you sure. can be. And then you follow up every week, every two weeks, and if they don't yep. get back to you, then you just take a hint, and then you try again in six months. Mm -hmm. For sure, like mm -hmm. I couldn't get tickets to Trixie and Katcha, so <laughs> I just had them. I was like, email somebody and see if we can get tickets, yeah. and we got tickets. Uh, and that's why I'm like, I'm trying to get tickets for <clears throat> Harry Styles in LA in a couple of weeks. I'm like, they better nice. fucking come through. Oh yeah. wow, that yeah. would be see, we're unreal. there for we're going down for work, and I realized it was like, oh my god, he's at the forum while we're there. Like, oh I wow, have to go. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, but I mean, again, that's one of the things that I was looking for. It's like with us on the show, and when Rachel and I are trying to think about okay, who do we ask, who do we connect with, you know, we want to connect with a few main criteria: mental health, queer. If they happen to have some thread to Jewish communities, because we're both Jewish and Holocaust yeah. child survivors or grandparents, then oh, why not? Crazy. I didn't know that part. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then also I the picked play up on the, words. the Jewish by the yeah. name. <clears throat> well, so it's issue. That was another one. We're, issue, we're issue, yeah. Issue. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Um, but you know, but thoughts we on for... Kanye while we're at it. I oh, I've never been into Christ. any of it. I've never been yeah. into any I'm of not it. even. No. Let's not even. Let's not even. Never. No, never. Yeah. And I'm and, and don't get me started about Drake. Like I'm not into rap music. I'm not into any of that. Not just the music, but I'm just like, okay, whatever, great. I don't cool. think I could name a Kanye West song. <laughs> no, me neither. I actually can actually, name a few, no. but that's like really back when I was a, well, because when I was back in high school, yeah. it was oh, so relevant. Oh yeah, that's relevant. true. That's yeah. true. That's and true. you know, some of the early Kanye stuff was really good because it wasn't like you know depressive and and crappy. It was actually like poppy and upbeat and more mainstream. So some of that stuff was good, but I, know, I don't even horrible. know anything. Yeah. Well, we won't waste our breath on but, Kanye. Yeah, no, no, please, too much, to too much you. already. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you're gonna bait me, you might as well bait me with something else because that might yeah. work more more successfully. But you know, that's kind of what we look for on our show. And so when we're reaching out to people and 
it's interesting because we now are getting, which is great. We're getting people emailing us, you know, press That's companies or peer yeah. companies. And we're, so we've been able to have a little bit of that stress taken off from quote calling and outreaching, but I've done most of the, most of the outreach for most of our guests, including yourself. Yeah. So for us, it's about networking and connections, but also we're not trying to get anything from the people we're connecting with. And I think that's the key thing. We just want to have mm. real conversations, mm-hmm. learn about what their background and their life is from a sincere perspective, and then maintain that relationship, whether if it's sporadically or throughout, I'm even if they've been on the show. Again. Well, <laughs> fuck you too, mister. <laughs> End Thanks conversation now. <laughs> Your you know. meeting has ended. Yeah. Yeah, voice. Exactly. What is that Zoom voice? Exactly. Yeah. Your meeting has ended. Right. And then I saw um, you. In, and then I th- saw you in Ladner. So I'm like, okay, fuck. I got to reach out to this guy. Like he lives yeah. in the fucking Lower Main. Like, come on. Like, yeah. what? Where what are am I you? Not- You're in Vancouver. Yeah, I live right across the new urban park on Smith and Richards that they just opened up. That big. Oh, you know, okay. Yeah, yeah. 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 So down, downtown <laughs> Central. So nice. I'll be yeah. there on Saturday. We're going to Elton John. Oh, Sweet. what have you wow. seen? Wow. No, I've never seen him before. This is uh, his like last, last, last. Yeah, like, that's appar- like apparently, yeah, yeah. It's looking at someone that went and saw three of Cher's farewell tours, yeah. so <laughs> I, I take it all with a grain of salt. But I'm sure he's oh, strong enough gonna... to go another five years. Yeah, I think I, I want to see him. Like I would have loved to have seen him 20 years ago when he was right. You know, oh, like that's yeah. why I'm also like I want to see Harry Styles again because the next time I see him, he'll probably be Mick Jagger's age. You know, like yeah, Mick Jagger. Yeah. Uh, yeah yeah no i'm excited oh that's so fantastic i i can't believe even what time it is right now um because i want to we always like to be you know mindful of our guest time um as far as oh whatever as time goes but (laughs) like Um, i said i'm time blindness i don't even yeah i guess i guess so i I guess so we could be just pull up a blanket just fall asleep i know we should just my couch has got a couch behind me i'll smell when dinner's ready yeah uh, I actually Jared did text once because he is cooking dinner. Is he the I cook? cook. No, God. Oh, no. he's not. He's, okay. Yeah, he's, he's cooking still... or like he's ordering in like from a no. I, I, I before I jumped on, I prepped dinner and wrote the instructions out. For <laughs> oh it. my God, you're like the perfect uh, yeah. house husband. I know, and now he's technically the house husband, and I'm like, <laughs> like before Jared quit his job, I was like full house husband, did like right. all the yeah. everything, and I loved it. Did all the house cleaning, all that stuff. Since he's become I'm the house husband and I'm working. We have a maid every or a housekeeper every week. Uh, I still do all the cooking. Uh, he occasionally oh does gosh. the laundry. I'm like, you <laughs> are the worst house husband on record. That's <laughs> hilarious. Yeah. Okay, oh my God. something I don't want to forget actually to talk about is your cruise. You have a cruise, right? Going to Greece? Oh, yeah. No, or something. Not, not a cruise. cruise. Sorry, a not a cruise. Yeah, yeah. Not uh, a cruise. Yeah, yeah a trip. We're yeah, going, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was like, what? No, <laughs> sorry. Sorry. <laughs> uh, you know well, what it's funny that you bring it up because we were yeah. asked to, and I said no. Because uh, oh, I think cruise ships are the uh, uh, worst thing in the world. I agree. Our daughter yeah. literally is an environmentalist for a living. So if we did a cruise, she would kill us. Oh, interesting. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, yeah, we're going on a trip to Greece in May 2023. Yeah. Uh, it's a seven day trip. I'm going to try to do this pitch properly, but I'm probably going <laughs> to fuck it up. Uh, there's 10, uh, 20 fans that are going, I think. Cool. Uh, yeah. We had like 10,000 people apply. And oh my gosh it down but uh no there's 10 people because there's still we've left 10 spots open because originally we saw. were only going to do 10 and then we delayed <laughs> the trip by a year and so we're like okay in that case we'll do 20 people and allow like space for 10 more so i think wow. we're opening up the spots again in november for people okay. to apply for those last 10 spots but yeah it's wow. just going to be it's going to be very much like you get to experience a <laughs> darcy and jer trip in greece we're gonna oh be real fucked up. We're I was gonna, gonna say it sounds like a shit show. Fabulous place. Too. <laughs> we're gonna throw wow. some really fun pool parties. Yeah, it'll be it'll be <laughs> interesting. Awesome. I've never we we wanted to pick somewhere we'd never been, and neither one of us had been never we'd never been to Greece. So we're like, let's go and experience it with a bunch of strangers for the first time. Wow, how amazing is that? 
Yeah. And there's all walks of life, like no specific yeah, criteria. It's like, no, like there's definitely like we've, we've cherry picked people that stood out to us, but the age range is literally, I think, 25 to 65. Like there's wow. one, wow, one neat. woman was, uh, she's in her sixties and was such a firecracker that I was just like, I absolutely need to sit next to this woman at, yeah. a meal at least once and just have, I just like meeting people. Like, yeah, I, I, yeah, like, yeah. I like meeting like real people. Like yeah. that's where I really enjoy this new found success is like, we're talking to people that are finding us relatable, but we're also finding them relatable. Right. Yeah. Like, right. Uh, it, it's, it's an interesting thing. Like I, there's a really cool show in Ireland and I can't remember what it's called and I can't remember the host name, but <laughs> the concept is. Leprechauns. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, the concept <laughs> is 60 minutes with a stranger. And oh. so the host doesn't Whoa. know doesn't know anything about his guest, and they just walk in and sit down and they talk for sixty minutes. Oh, I'm gonna have to find and this. That's yeah, it, interesting. I, I, I stumbled upon clips of it and was like, "What yeah. the fuck is this?" And then <laughs> it's basically a podcast with no preparation, right? Uh, yeah, but I think with the the host is really interesting and funny and charming and charismatic and stuff. So it's fun to watch him figure people out. Yeah. amazing that yeah. would why you got to bring that to canada like in some right? other way that's yeah, totally your format that's, that's your i know format. Yeah. yeah it'd be fun that's it so would be true. fun yeah absolutely canada's so never great. gonna do it no uh, canada's too yeah, conservative cause... yeah no um yeah they uh i have to testify tomorrow in the house of commons about this new bill uh bill c11 which is like trying to give the crtc control over social media uh and i'm like you guys have already fucked up canadian tv oh wow You're yeah not doing it to social media like i yeah it's the i feel so weird it's the second time i've testified and it's like the first time in my life i've ever sided with the conservative party about anything but it, huh. i'm truly like a strong believer that user generated success is democracy you know like if yeah. something is seen by millions of people it's because yeah. millions of people in like interacted with it you know right. like there's that's you know we don't need the crtc pushing canadian content on instagram yes absolutely i'm curious to know how that goes yeah, we'll see. Last time it didn't go well. So. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I got yelled at by some liberal senators or liberal oh. MP. Uh, we got into it, but uh, oh, yeah, wow. it's fun. It, it takes a lot to piss me off. So I'm like, well, right. you can yell. I'm just going to sit here and smirk. Like, right. Wow. Plus the Botox. I can't really frown. Right. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's, that is awesome. Oh, I my love gosh. That. Hi and Botox. I mean, yeah. can you ask for a better combo? <laughs> I'm looking at my fucking like, face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Where are your eyes? They're what somewhere. Is, where They're are your somewhere. eyes? There it reminds are. me of, They're... did you ever see that? Is it Jimmy Kimmel that does the, like, how are you high? Like, he goes on the street. Oh, yeah. With, like, yeah. random people and trying to yeah. guess, like, which one of them is high. <laughs> And they're all, yeah, well, they might, they probably are all high, but yes. yeah. <laughs> so good. So good. Yeah. I mean, it's been obviously super raw and organic because that's our, in all barks, both of our sticks. It's Myself. so, it's so great to have you. I mean, who cares how long it took? I'm just glad that we could actually probably connect three of Agreed. us. Agreed. Yeah, um, this is mm. great. Don't, don't be a stranger. Um, if you are, happen to be in the downtown area, want to connect or whatever, I'll leave you my information. Feel free to yeah, hit me for up. Yeah, sure um yeah, but yeah i mean thank you so much for your time and your openness your candidness uh we really appreciate it and hopefully it will help to continue reaching to your community as well yeah no thank you guys this is really fun uh, good now for life yeah <laughs> i'm like what were we the pied pipers like what was we it were. pipers pied, pied pipers, pipers. Fuck, i don't yeah. know wow. I, was, I was not a sports I'm person still pied. so yeah. <laughs> where's your pipe right it's somewhere yeah. it is actually i just can't <laughs> see in this fucking other like i can't do the overhead light in here adhd oh, no overhead funny. lighting i totally oh, get yeah. that yeah yeah As I, yeah, I guess that's a lighting. neurodivergent thing isn't it like it's it a, is yeah it is for sure even like the lights in my work and stuff i'm just like okay just keep your eyes like on the horizon forward that's why like i always that. wear mm. brimmed hats a lot of the time is yeah. just to keep the oh, eye smart. my eyes chilled out yeah. yeah, another cool hot tip for yourself that I started using. There's a brand called Loop, like the word Loop, and they're we, actual. We're partners with them. Are we, you serious? Uh, for the the earplugs, yeah, we've yeah worked with them for six months. It's the greatest thing. It ever. is. I bought a pair. Yeah. For what, my is new it? Job. what is it? What is it? They're noise softeners without 
dampering. Uh, I don't know out. where they are. They're somewhere in here. They oh. have a new product yeah. coming out. Yeah, uh, I it, just saw it. It launched today. Yeah, I saw uh, it. I've got yeah. a film. We've got to film an ad for them. That's the so like we we're really trying to only do ads for things that we use or things yeah. that we think are helpful for the community. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, and Loop was one that they reached out in DMs, and I just happened wow. to see it. And so good. we Jared did a huh. video about me shutting down at a restaurant, like not because yeah. I just disassociated, not being mm -hmm. able to hear. Mm -hmm. I, and then they reached out and they were like, "Can we help?" They're phenomenal. Wow, wow. they are yeah. they are phenomenal. I they have saved my ass many times. On and they're affordable. And that like yeah, I'm not pitching here. Like when no. we yeah, when yeah. first said it, I was like, eh, "Everyone's got earbuds." But then I was like, "They're no. twenty dollars." Okay, like this oh, is wow. actually and quality. Like they're yeah, are they great. super high quality? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. okay. Yeah, and they also make, and also people can look at it and they can tell that there's something not wrong with you, but they can tell that it almost creates more compassion. You don't mean yeah, for it to create compassion, like, but people act you're like, oh, okay, what's going on? They know yeah. that you're you're doing your best, and it's yeah. a way of showing pity, and that's really cool. Yeah, and they're they're also really stylish, like the, yeah, especially the new ones they just sent us. So I was like, oh, okay, I don't mind yeah. having a little pop of color in my ear with the hoop and stuff. Yeah, uh, I my agree. problem is I leave them everywhere. Uh, oh yeah, I, I yeah. All the time. Like I'm pretty sure. Like in September, I think I <laughs> I flew to like twelve different cities, and I think I left like eleven pairs. Oh, oh man! Uh, oh man! That's the well, trick. Good of thing having they sponsor you. Partner. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. No kidding. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They should hook. They should oh hook, hook us up, Rich. Yeah, there you go. Oh my yeah, god, they're awesome. You no, know, Darcy, I'm gonna now go and dig up my yearbooks. Yeah, there you go. Oh god. <laughs> that's that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah. I'm gonna go yeah. into my crawl space. <laughs> well, you'll find first. out my real name. And... It'll be tricky. Because oh. I'm Darcy oh. Michael. It's just my first two names. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was, you know what? It's funny because I was gonna say he's the guy so great that they named him a first name twice, twice with you. Yeah. And I'm like, uh, that's I gotta had, be okay. No, I had a I had a speech impediment when I was a kid. I, I did too. Oh, I, uh, which is, I'm convinced is a, a neurodivergent huh. thing as well. It way. is, uh, it is. So I did speech yes. therapy, but I was, uh, my Good last team. name's wow. McCrory, uh, but oh, I couldn't yeah. pronounce it. So I was Darcy uh... McCrory for most of my life. So right. I just always, yeah. I was like, if I can just get Darcy down, I'll yeah. just go by Darcy Michael. And so like, I worked uh... until I was like 13 on just being like, I'm Darcy M Michael. And then like, as wow. I grew up, I was like, I can say McCrory and I still McCrory. stumble on it sometimes. Yeah, that's yeah. not yeah. An easy one no, no it's not no. easy no i was speech too though yeah. i wasn't i did i went i went to preschool um this place called small talk that can be in 17th area and oh, okay. i went yeah and i, I was non-verbal i couldn't speak any english or understand how to speak without gibberish oh really yeah at, so at what like, age you said three until i was Ish. five i couldn't, Until you were I couldn't, five. I couldn't oh, wow. speak english i just spoke I whatever I language and stuff yeah. and had my own way of describing things my mom knew because you know your mom knows yeah. what you're trying to say but no i went to small talk and that was the name of the preschool for speech impediments and speech delay and then i had an actual mm. therapist that helped me with my ths my s's and my r's yeah that was mine as well like it was oh, when wow. we moved out here uh, when I was like eight and the teachers were like, you know, Darcy needs speech therapy. And so I yeah. started it from eight until I was eight till 16. Wow. Yeah. 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 I talk for a living. I'm like, James yeah, Ryan. right. Yeah, same. It's crazy, yeah. right? How we become so proficient, even though we may have not been in the past. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I love it. Wow. So much overlap. A lot of I know. I know. Wild. I know. It is yeah. wild. And the simulation is broken. <laughs> right? <laughs> Through the vast oh of the ring lights. Oh my gosh. Um, Darcy, I also, yeah, I extend the invitation as well. If you guys are ever up in the Okanagan area, I come down to Vancouver all the time. I'm like, you know, my mom still lives in North Van. Okay. It's like, I'm, I'm down there like every six weeks, <laughs> every two months. Yeah. Well, yeah, because like yeah, she's so got to see me, so. I've got yeah. oh, right. Oh, you also live down there. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. remember? Yeah, no, I do. Hint, I hint. forgot. Yeah. Oh, that's Th sweet. Thanks for that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, well, thank whatever. you guys so much. Thank this you. This was really great. Thank it was really fun. It was worth the wait. Oh, oh good. Glad. We're so glad. We're so glad. And I'll shoot ditto. you. I'll yes. shoot you an email with our with my contact information, and you can do yeah. And also, do let with me it, know what when you will. Yes, out. yes, uh, we uh, will. Email is better than DMs. Yeah, I'll, I'll see them. So you guys have the real email. You'll get. I hear that now. Me. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. <laughs> Appreciate Amazing. that so much. Awesome. Okay. Well, thank you so much, guys. Yeah, thank you, Darcy. Enjoy your dinner. Hopefully, bye. Okay. Bye.